Hey guys, Russ Miller here. I want to talk to you about some of the amazing innovations that are available with the uh, Black Panther Design Lab System Kit. This particular one that I'm going to talk to you about is nothing short of the word revolutionary. Many of you probably know Randy May from uh, the internal miking system and, and so many other innovations that he's been part of in the drum industry. This one is absolutely astonishing. It's blown my mind from minute one and um, I just want to show you some of the features that are available here on the MAT system. It's a complete removal of the transfer of vibration from the instrument, the drum, down through the hardware to the floor. For many of you, I'm sure you've experienced the fact that when you hold a drum up in the air and you're hitting it and it sounds great and then you put it on the mount and it's all choked and it doesn't sound that good and, and that's because of all the different steps that are going in the loss of vibration. So the mat system actually removes all of them. This point here is very similar to just holding the drum by the hoop with your fingers and hitting it. That's what this point is and how it's being suspended. This entire mechanism is not touching the stand at all and is being supported by super trained magnets here in the middle. This goes back and forth with the weight of the drum and those magnets, opposing magnets, push on each other and support the weight. And that's a part of the SAS Sonic Clear Attenuation System. This particular wheel pushes the magnets back and forth. If your drum is, let's say, ringing too much or maybe it's feeding back, you take your supplied wrench, you put it in there, and you basically turn this knob, this SAS style adjustment, and it pushes the magnets closer together. So what happens then is you're now putting more vibration into the hardware and to the floor, and the drum sustains, shortens, and tightens up a little bit, changes the sustain without changing the feel. Remember, when you put duct tape and moon gel and all those kind of things on the head of your drum, it flattens the drum head. It doesn't feel the same, it feels more dead. There's two parts of sound, right? There's the main note, and then there's the actual long sustain of a note. We have a natural gate or a natural sustaining adjustment as well. And this is the natural gate adjustment here. You can raise or lower this gate. The higher it is, the longer the sustain of the drum. The lower it is, it starts to shorten the sustain up. And again, not affecting the feel. And that's what's amazing about it, because you always usually have to affect the feel to mute the drum up. But this natural gating effect does not do that. The other thing that you'll notice about the mats is there's a leverage adjustment in the back down here. And this is literally positioning the leverage for the weight of the drum. Like, obviously, an 8-inch tom doesn't weigh the same as an 18-inch tom. So you have to adjust that first. So all you do is loosen these up, take them out, move them up, put them back in, and you have the position for an 8-inch tom at the top all the way down to an 18-inch tom at the bottom. And it sets this magnet in the correct leverage, and then you have a full range of motion to use for the SAS adjustments of magnetic force, and then, of course, the natural gait. Now, you can see this particular mat's arm is what we call full-length uh, mat's arm, and it's basically the entire center section of a cymbal stand. Uh, it's a one inch diameter tube and it fits in just about every uh, cymbal stand on the market center section, right? So you got the base and the center section. You just replace that and then you'll see here on top that you have the uh, receptor for a cymbal arm. You might be saying, what if I don't want to uh, mount uh, my drum on the cymbal stand? We actually have a 7 8 inch version that uh, is the small uh, mat system. It's exactly the same. And this standard diameter is really, really common in almost everything we use, from tom arms to cymbal arms, all the receptor holes and like platform holders for double tom holders, bass drum double tom holders, they're all this diameter of 7 8 inch on your two of them on a bass drum in the platform clamp, or those are for the rack system. There's two different systems. This one comes with uh, component drums. So if you order an extra tom or whatever, you'll get the, uh, the ad additional small uh, embodiment of the mat's arm with it. And then, of course, the two full-size versions of the mat's arms come with your Black Panther Design Lab system kit. 
so you'll already have those to set the drums up when you get them. So, guys, I don't know what to say besides to check this out. I mean, it's absolutely groundbreaking. It's just going to change the way we think about mounting the drums from this day forward. Yeah.